Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa if you're new here and as you guys can see from the title I have a updated Majuri's collection video for you So I got so many requests from you guys from Instagram even on YouTube and Honestly even all the way to TikTok for you guys to request that I film another updated collections video So I am finally back with another one. It has been five months So we have a lot of product that we need to go through but if you guys are new here and you guys like this video make sure you check out some of the other Majuri collections videos I believe I have about five now and I also have a lot of tutorials as well that are also surrounded with Majuri jewelry so you guys can check out the how do I stack my rings video how I layer my necklaces how I style between gold and silver jewelry and I also have one for beginners if you guys are just starting your jewelry collection that one is super good for you guys to learn how to build your collection before I get into today's video I just wanted to say that I also recently learned that I have vocal nodules which is basically what Britney Snow had in Pitch Perfect if you guys watch that movie so I have to be very careful with my voice and practice better vocal hygiene so if I sound a little bit more quiet or less enthused that is why okay I'm just trying to be mindful of my voice but also if anyone has that as well by any chance please leave a comment let me know what you guys did to help because a lot of my job is a lot of talking so this has been extremely painful for me honestly before I go into this video I do want to remind you guys that I do have 10% off with Majuri and the code is embedded directly onto the link so you just click on the link and it will be automatically applied upon checkout and the 10% off only works for new customers so make sure you check it out and save on your purchase but that being said let's go Go straight into today's video because we have a lot to cover okay so since the past five months there has been a very different theme I feel like for this updated collection partly because I have been changing up my lifestyle a little bit so if you guys have been watching all of my previous majority videos you guys know that I stray all the way to solid gold products just because if this is your first time watching, as a jewelry wearer, I am very lazy and I don't like to take anything off my necklaces, my rings, my earrings, bracelets, anything. I don't like to take anything off. A large part has to do with the fact that it doesn't bother me when I sleep or shower with it. And then the second part is because I also live alone and I have very long nails. A lot of the times me trying to fiddle with my jewelry is extremely difficult. So that's why in the past, most of my stuff have been a lot more on the solid gold side. In this version of the haul, you are going to see a lot more sterling silver, gold vermeil, etc. And that is because in the last few months, I have been doing a lot of activities that require me to take off my jewelry such as volleyball, surfing, and I also started doing weights. Yes, your girl has been very athletic since the last time we spoke, okay? So therefore, you will be seeing more of the gold vermeils because now I'm just, since I'm already taking it off, like I just played volleyball, so I don't have any of my bracelets on when I bump the ball. So you are going to see a lot more variety this time around which is great because a lot of the times I know that you guys also like to take off your jewelry before going to bed or going to shower and also gold for me and sterling silver are also more affordable as well they have a cheaper price tag than solid gold stuff so hopefully this video is a little bit new to you guys and it caters to everybody okay so starting with the official collection I'm gonna go in the category order but I'm gonna go from I guess like products where I have the least amount of stuff to the most amount of stuff. The one and only product that I got in the anklet category is the dot anklet. I didn't want to put it on my ankle right now because I didn't want to show you guys my feet because it's not that kind of video here. But basically the only anklet I got this time around is the dot anklet. It is pretty much literally as the description of the name. As you guys can see, it's just a chain with some circles slash dots on it. Honestly, when I got this anklet, I just wanted to get this in a bracelet as as well because it actually is so cute so I think for the fall time now that 
I'm gonna be retiring this anklet since summer is over and you won't be able to see it anymore. I am gonna be wanting to get the bracelet version of that anklet. It is so cute on. If you guys saw any of my content this summer, that was the anklet that I was wearing all summer, including in my Princess Polly haul. You guys can check that out as well, but that's the anklet that I was wearing. It's just so cute and all the dots like just dangling from the bottom it has such a pretty dainty but just like chic feeling to it so I am a huge 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 anklet person and if you are as well I feel like my only tip is if you're gonna take off your socks make sure you're careful but this item is solid gold so you can wear it to the ocean to the beach etc so there you go the next category that I wanted to get into is necklaces so this time around I actually got three necklaces but I have misplaced one of the necklaces don't even get me started because basically i lent it to a friend my friend leisha who i went to surfing camp with and then she gave it back to me but when she gave it back to me i don't know where i put it i don't know when she gave it back to me i forgot and i honestly just i'm going to scream because that actually became one of my favorite necklaces of all time so in the meantime i am going to leave a picture here for you i will say this about this necklace it is very misleading on the Majuri website because initially I did not want to get this necklace because I thought that this necklace looked huge. Like I thought it was going to be like this chunky thing, but then so many of you guys had requested for me to try out the necklace and wanted to see it on. So I was like, you know what? I will try it. And once I got it, thanks to you guys, I am obsessed. It is so 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 dainty and also the chain I can't show you right now but the chain is basically like a circle and you just open it like that it's not a regular clamp that you're so used to seeing in every necklace so I feel like it's way cuter and you can also wear that in the front or you can wear it in the back so it looks like a chain or you can wear it in the front and dangle some of the items on it it is part of their collectibles item so it looks so 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 cute and I swear to god I need to go find that necklace or else I'm I'm not going to be sleeping tonight the next item i got actually i don't even think the people who come to watch the monthly reviews videos have been able to see it yet because i'm featuring this for september but that video is not even coming out until next week so the necklace that i got for september this month is from the hearts collection that just came out so this is the necklace that I got, as you guys can see. I am so in love with this necklace, especially the color, because I wanted a white necklace for so long, but not pearl. Okay, because that's, I feel like that's where white generally is in the jewelry category is if you get something pearl, but this one was literally everything I was looking for because I feel like I have so many gold pieces, but this one stands out even more because it's white. I've been manifesting in my head a white necklace and then bam, a Majuri made it and I was like, thank you. Thank you so much. So the thing about this necklace is that it is gold vermeil, um, but surprisingly, because for necklaces, I actually don't take it off because any of my contact sports don't require anything to do with my neck. So necklaces is the category that I still leave on till this day. So with this necklace, I actually have been wearing it for the entire month, even though it is gold vermeil. So although I don't necessarily recommend it, I will say that as someone who did it, it seems fine so far, so that's why um, this has worked out for me. This is also obviously a little bit cheaper than the solid gold one if you get the full gold necklace, but it is up to you and your lifestyle. As I always say, in terms of whether or not you should splurge on solid gold or keep it gold for me. But I absolutely love this color. So if you guys want to check out the white as well, it is just so chic and it has been in my content all of September. The next and last necklace that I got since you guys last saw the collections video is this necklace right here. This one, I actually had to get it separately. It didn't come together. So just a little FYI. The first thing is I got the evil eye pendant. Okay, so if you guys, know a little bit about me I am a little bit on the spiritual side and I do believe in all of these things although I will say I saw the funniest TikTok where it was that trend where it's just like when I show up in hell and to show him what I did to scare him off or something and then someone was like holding an evil eye I was laughing so hard because that's me one more time I couldn't hear you <laughs> Okay.
okay like I don't know if this is gonna work but it doesn't hurt so I got the evil eye pendant to wean off all the bad stuff that could potentially come my way and the chain that I wanted to get is particularly okay this is the part that I was very specific about and this is why I'm actually very glad that you have to get it separately is the length of this chain I wanted this length in particular because the item that I was trying to replace is the zodiac necklace also from Majuri if you guys watch my very first video on my Majuri collection this particular item has just been something I have loved deeply the issue that I had with it is that it was gold vermeil and I always had to take it off which was what I found annoying about the necklace because although I loved the look I just wanted to keep it on at all times because there's always something that could be used for this length like even this t-shirt here like just having something at this length it's just so pretty and if you have something that doesn't require it usually you can just like tuck it underneath and so that's why I always wanted to keep it on so the fact that this pendant and this chain in particular I will leave the link down below so you guys can get the exact one I believe the length is in 18 to 20 inches but I will just leave a link just in case I have the measurement wrong but this one I've just been loving it because I don't need to take it off and if that is also something that is appealing to you, I highly recommend. So moving on to the next category, I'm gonna go into the category of earrings. And yes, I am wearing all the earrings that I got since you guys last saw me, which is why they don't match. So I'm gonna go through them one by one. I might have forgotten their names, but no worries. Okay, I have the exact links and I also will leave a little pretty little picture with the name on the side for you guys to see. So the first item that I wanted to share with you guys, I'll start from this ear, I guess. Okay, so starting with the first earring, the first earring is actually two separate pieces once again. The first one is the earring itself. The second piece is something Majuri also came out with since the last time we spoke, which is called hoop charms. I just think it's so genius because these hoop charms are kind of like the earring versions of necklace pendants. It's kind of like if you just buy all these like charms, you can layer to your existing earrings and you can make all these different combinations without having to spend the price tag of another whole earring you can kind of just buy like a half so sort of like how necklaces you can just buy one chain and then buy a bunch of different pendants and change it around so it's kind of the same vibe the one that I wanted to show you and I have paired with is this particular earring right here I am obsessed with this earring because you can see how there are all these spheres around it you guys know how obsessed I am with the ones that are like spheres just as you you guys know how I wanted that for a ring and same thing here I wanted that for my earring so I got the earring and then I was like wait I want to play with the hoop charms so I played with my first one and I love it so much it is this straight line bar right here as you guys can see it's just dangling through it's super super cute there are a ton of different hoop charms that you guys can check out as well I'm also going to be exploring more in the month of October so make sure you tune in for which ones I choose but it's so cute and you can just just put them through all of your existing Majuri earrings. The second earring that I got is kind of the same vibe but this is a whole earring and I absolutely love this earring. You guys know when I reviewed it in my monthly favorites but this earring I'm not sure if it's the exact name but it's basically a bar earring and it's this middle one right here and what I love so much about it is I love two-part earrings. Earrings that just have like it's just like connected and it's just I love that it's a very very clean very minimal it looks very very put together but because of that little like kink in the middle it just looks so stylish like the first part is like connected to your ear and then the second part just kind of dangles I absolutely love styling especially like these two together if you look at it like just these two alone I just feel like this pair looks so cute together because it has that symmetry and it just has a theme going on you know it's just very straight very clean I feel like this is like a really good combo also if you guys are working and going back into the office I just feel like it's such a great set of earrings to just like have as I don't know as someone going into the office I 
I mean, obviously you don't, but I'm just saying, like, I think back on, like, when I did used to go to the office, and I'm like, this would look cute with, like, a business casual outfit. But anyway, the next earring that I got, I have to say, is probably my most asked earring of the last two months so it's the pavi diamond bold hoops which you guys know i have but this time ding ding they added a little pearl to it they just judged it up so much and it just looks so so cute look at this earring right here oh my god i was wearing it in the first hole why do I always say hole? The first piercing hole that I have. I just got a lot of compliments and questions on it on TikTok for this particular earring. So if you guys are wondering which is the most asked earring this time around, it is this one. Okay, moving on to the second earring. The first earring that I want to show you guys are the oversized thin hoops. I am so obsessed with these earrings, you guys. First of all, it is light as a feather despite how large it looks okay it is also very thin and it is put into the name okay but first of all it is light as a feather it is actually like quite huge as you can see like all my earrings are down here and this one drags all the way over to this side this is not only solid gold but it is also super easy to take off which i've demonstrated as well in the previous review video it's just so malleable i just i am so obsessed i saw my friend with this on and i knew i had to get it after seeing it on her another thing i have to say though is that if i'm gonna get a earring that isn't solid gold i dread having one of those typical backings like this because when I have a backing like that it is so hard for my finger to grab it because you can see how long my nails are to try to put it in so thankfully for the one earring that is like that which is the line earring that I have shown you thankfully it is in solid gold so I just have to do it once and I can leave it on and then the rest of them thankfully are not very difficult because it doesn't have that small little thing that I always have to fiddle with so anyway that being said the thin hoops are super 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 easy to take on and off so even if you're alone or in a rush because a lot of the times even if you're not alone you're just in a rush it is very easy to take it on and off okay the second earring that i wanted to show you guys is also part of the mixed metals video this one is in gold vermeil and sterling silver this is from the sarah harris collection and i absolutely love their collections as you guys know this one is just super dainty and cute and i just think that if i had to narrow actually you know what I have so many favorites from these earrings that I have but I do want to say that this is probably one of my top picks for the earrings that I have because not only is it not super super hard to take off because like I said it doesn't have that little clampy thing you detach it like so and then when you're ready to put it on, you just have to push these two together also I just love the practicality of this you can also take off the silver part obviously and wear this alone so when you buy these earrings it really does seem like you are getting a two-in-one deal it's built in a mix of metals earring so pretty much you don't have to think about how to style your silver and gold it kind of does it for you so i also have been loving the look of mixing gold and silver jewelry together it just looks super super cute so make sure you also check out that video if you guys want some styling tips on how to do so so the next set of earrings i want to show you um i couldn't fit all of them into my earlobe but it is these two here but pretty much this was part of my mixed metals review as well but i got these two to style together so the first one is the larger one and I got it in sterling silver and then the second one is the smaller version and I got it in gold vermeil how I usually styled it would be I would have this one the one from Sarah Harris and then I would layer the silver and I would layer the gold and that trio combination if you guys also have three low piercing it looks so elite like I cannot describe to you how good it looks so I don't know that's just kind of my vibe this last few months um all of them would be more sterling silver slash gold for me so you do have to take it off but once again like I said it's not too hard because it's all this style of earring to put on and off okay so that is pretty much it on earrings and I'm now gonna go into the very last category which are rings and today I am 
only wearing the rings that I got since the last five months and I'm still missing one because I couldn't fit this on my finger anymore. But look at how many rings I have collected in the last five months and we are gonna go through them all one by one. Starting with the first one that I couldn't fit on my finger is the snake ring. If you guys have seen all my previous videos before, especially the collection videos, you guys will know that this ring has been on my wish list for so long and it definitely does live up to the hype. One thing that I also want to say that surprised me pleasantly about this ring is the fact that it is so light. It doesn't look like it would be a ring that would be light, but look at this. It is so light. It is so cute. This is one of those pieces that I probably would just wear on its own and I would not stack with it personally just because it's such a statement -y piece already and it already screams a lot of attention so I personally would always leave this ring alone by itself running solo you know but it is just so pretty and I just I love it the next set of rings are also from basically when I was showing you guys the mixed metals these two rings this one is also in gold vermeil and sterling silver this is very much like the earrings it has a very like square effect to it and I just love 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 wearing these two rings together it looks really really edgy and very cool so whenever I style it I will always like wear it together because I feel like it has a very like edgy effect so if I'm wearing things more like a leather jacket or like I don't know something a little bit more edgy that's kind of how I really like to style it but even on my dainty days I'll still wear it sometimes because I still just really like the look of mixed metals the next set of rings that I will share um, since we're already on this train is I'll share two other gold vermeil jewelry pieces with you this is also new that I got just in September so once again haven't been featured in the monthly favorites but it will be coming up but basically the two rings that I got are these two right here and you guys are gonna notice this theme as I said like I said I'm obsessed with having these kind of like dots and stuff I feel like it makes the ring just way more elevated looking and this one also has pearls on it as you guys can see I have a type I like them spheres I like them pearls you know so when you combine them it's like hello anyway so this one is really cute um, like I said usually I wouldn't even get it if I don't see that they're solid gold but like I said since I've already been taking off my jewelry pretty often anyway for volleyball I knew I had to take this off so I didn't mind so this one is actually bigger and a little bit more statementy so I like it a lot and I actually stack it with this other ring and this one reminds me of one of the Majuri necklaces that I have which is the layer spheres necklace where it comes in three whereas this one's only in two but this one is also gold vermeil I wish they would come out with a solid gold version of this particular ring but you guys can see how cute that looks together and it just looks like a very cute band so usually I'll wear these two rings actually together and this is what it looks like right here okay the next ring that I got is the thumb ring that I already have as you guys know okay this is my original thumb ring this is also one of the very first Majuri products that I got this is always on my thumb actually like even when I play volleyball I realized I never took it off because it's just like sits on my thumb so well it's very dainty so I recently got it a new roomie I got the white gold version of it so white gold you can also leave it on your body 24 7 just like solid gold so now it has a little BFF a literal roommate so this is what it looks like and like I said because I have been loving the whole mixed metal and mixed toned kind of vibe having both the yellow gold and the white gold just looks super good together and yeah, so there we go. The next item that I wanted to share with you is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite rings, as you guys know, the baguette ring, okay? One of my favorite, favorite pieces. They came out with the baguette band and I could not resist and I actually just went ahead and got it. As you guys can see, this is a all around baguette. If you're wondering why I needed this and also have the baguette ring, okay, first of all, I can do whatever I want. Okay, but second of all, 
the real reason also is the baguette ring is a size six, which is for my index finger. And this one, I actually got it in a size five. So it's for my ring finger. And I just feel like on my ring finger, it's so dainty. I feel like someone can use this as a wedding band. Okay. This is how cute it is. I'll show you what it looks like alone. Like imagine this is your wedding band. Like how cute would that be? I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. I don't even have anything close to a boyfriend. So I don't know what people look at when they look at wedding bands, but um, you know what? I'm not waiting for a man. So this I got myself. Okay. I really like it. It's very cute. And I think it looks really great on ring fingers. Okay. Moving on. The next product that I wanted to share with you guys is another piece from the heart collection. This is also new. I haven't shared yet. This one is in solid gold. So you can also get the necklace version of it. I actually love this design of the heart so much. I just feel like this heart is literally the perfect heart shape. And also I just like that there is a diamond in the middle of it. So when you put it on, this is what it looks like. I also layered it with this ring that I also got since the last time you guys saw a collections video which is the thicker chain ring the first chain ring that i got was you know super thin super malleable you guys all know what i'm talking about this one isn't as malleable this one is just in one piece like a regular ring but i love that the chain is still very thin very dainty one thing that i love a lot about this ring is that in the summer our bodies kind of, you know, become a little swollen because of the heat, okay? Your fingers swell up and become bigger. A lot of the times, that in combination with me eating more, I feel like my fingers got fat this summer. <laughs> I don't know if this happened to anyone else. I'm like, I'm like trying to blame it on the weather, but in reality, it was probably me eating. But anyway, I'm going to say it was both. But basically, as my fingers became more like sausages, um, I want to say that this ring was probably one of the most comfortable rings that I had with you know, when it came to weight gain. So I just want to put that out there in case a lot of you guys also experience like, I don't know, like your rings just getting like super tight because you're like, what's happening? Am I fat or is this the weather or like what's going on? So yeah, that is one thing. I predict not that this ring has gone through weather or t weight gain. I don't know. I predict that this heart necklace is also going to be super comfortable as well. I think this is actually really important because it then makes you choose what rings to wear in the summer because some rings are so tight and when your fingers swell, you're like, oh, hell nah. So anyway, just wanted to put that out there. Okay. The last set of rings I wanted to show you is also kind of the mixed metal-y vibe. The first one is the soft Charlotte ring. I got this. As you guys can see, see, I love the style with just like, like these like bumpy little spheres. This is very different. By the way, I want to say this is the soft Charlotte ring, which is different than this type of ring. As you can see, there is a difference because the soft Charlotte ring pops up a little bit higher. And why you want to keep that in mind is because sometimes if you want more dimension, for example, if you're wearing a ring, as you guys can see, this one pops up higher. So if you guys like that, and also because everyone is obsessed with the Charlotte ring, this one is just like a milder version of it. And it's not so much a circle. They look to me more like brioche bread, <laughs> like because it's not like circular or sphere. They're more like squares, you know, but like from the puffiness of a brioche. I feel like they should have named this collection the brioche, but whatever, I'm not part of the naming team or any team for that matter, but I feel like if they were to ask me for my opinion, I would have named this the brioche ring, but whatever. Kind of to go along with their croissant ring, you know, and having a brioche ring, like, doesn't that just like have a vibe? Anyway, this one, I got it in a white gold and once again, don't have to take it off. It's super comfortable and I love it a lot. I wanted to, you know, spice things up and not just kept, keep on getting yellow gold. So that's why I got that in the white gold. And then that way I can mix it a little bit more because I want a more diverse color palette in my jewelry for sure. The next item that I wanted to get is one of my secret loves of my jewelry collection. Another thing that I love about it is because it looks very androgynous. I'm talking about this ring right here. It has the perfect amount of thickness and just like it's very, very clean. Whenever I put this ring on, I don't know if this is the right word, but this is genuinely how I feel. When I put this particular ring on, I feel more powerful. 
<laughs> I feel like it's because it kind of reminds me of like a ring that my dad used to wear but a little bit more on the dainty side so I don't know it just gives me like a little bit more masculine energy when I like go out and present myself to the world I just feel like wearing this ring I can like interrupt people or like I'm just kidding not interrupt people but like you know what I mean it's like I don't have to like when I'm like walking down the street and a man is like walking towards me I don't have to step on the side for him to walk past I'm like no you move and stuff like this is like the energy that I get from this ring I know that's a lot to hear but like I don't know does anyone relate I don't know I'm just kind of like going off here Anyway, the last ring that I have is another white gold ring and this one is the same vibe as the last one that I just told you but on a much milder scale and this one honestly is probably one of those rings that you should definitely get for layering. If you want to layer your rings, this is probably one of my top, top, top picks, either in white gold or yellow gold. This one is in white, but honestly, because it's so subtle and dainty and cute, I feel like if you want to layer, it'll be the same as this type of vibe where when you put it on, it's a very subtle way of mixing your metal colors without having to go all out like the soft Charlotte that I have right here. So that was pretty much the last item of the updated collections video. I hope you guys enjoyed it since the last video. But if you guys want to check out more videos, make sure you watch the previous Majuri videos and make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell so you're notified every time I post. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!